Hello WordPress community! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create floating buttons on our WordPress website. And if you want to learn how, let's get started. So in order to create our floating button, we are going to use this floating button plugin by Wow Company. And here you can see some of its key features and the use cases that you can use this plugin for. Um, so let's start with the um, use case scenario. So you can use this plugin for site navigation, additional menu for creating your social panel where uh, these buttons will lead to uh, different pages of your social media. Then you can create Skype menu and anything that you you want so you can customize it to your own business preferences and needs and here you can see some of its key features uh, so you will have access to more than 2000 uh, font awesome icons and you will uh, be able to create two sub menus horizontal and vertical then you can also um, insert any type of link that will direct them to for example your social media pages if you decide to create a social panel or a login link logout link or lost password link so anything that you literally want and imagine um, so let's now test uh, this uh, plugins features in action. So for that, let's um, first of all install and activate it. Um, so you can either download this uh, plugin from here, the free version, or you can head to your WordPress uh, dashboard and search it as a floating button. So let's install this, activate. And then you can see that it appeared right here. So let's go see how, what we can do with it. Okay, so this is our main dashboard and it is very easy to navigate through. You will simply need to click here on the side new to get started. Let's do that. And as I've already mentioned, I will create a social uh, panel. Let's do that. Let's name it first of all. And then let's choose our text for the main uh, button, which will be social media. Uh, so here you will need to choose the button type. So it is uh, automatically um, chosen main button, but you can also change it to link, login, uh, logout, register, and lost password. Uh, so let's uh, stick to this main button. Let's go and choose an icon. As I've already mentioned, they have more than 2000 icons available. So you'll definitely find the one that you need. And I will probably choose a globus for this. I associated with social media and then we can go and change the style here but I actually like this color so let's um, leave to this one um, and then we can go uh, and on and create our so sub buttons uh, so we've got two ones as you can see so one is for the vertical and the other is for the horizontal lines so let's start with adding an Instagram page um, and here we can add a link Mm -hmm. just a random link for testing and then let's go and choose an icon mm -hmm. see they've got an Instagram one you can see it's very beautiful and um, you can again go and change the style if we want mm -hmm. let's also insert a link here go to icons I guess this one is better and let's add one more, which will be our uh, blog. And as a link, we can put this here. And as an icon, there is, I think, a blog one. Or maybe we can add a WordPress. Mm -hmm. So that's it from this uh, sub button. So let's go to the next one and create uh, other three here. I will add one for YouTube. Let's insert a link here too. Choose a YouTube icon. Add another one for Pinterest. Mm -hmm. and one for TikTok.
That's great, so now we have our main button and the sub buttons ready. And now let's move on to the style section to see what kind of customizations we can do here. So these are some general stuff, the shape, the shadow, the animation, which is fade. Then we can choose the position which we find the most user friendly to place it or to display it. Okay, I will choose probably bottom left and then you can also choose the bottom size, small, medium or large. Uh, medium is um, the perfect shape to go with. And then you can also choose the font size and the tooltip background and um, tooltip color. And most importantly, how are we going to display our buttons? Well, we created very well designed buttons, but we just do not know. Well, I'm going to tell you. Um, so here we've got two options, actually. Um, you can either choose everywhere. So on every pages of your website, it will be displayed. Or you can choose the shortcut. And here you can see that it will be generated here right away when we save uh, those changes. Um, and also you can choose some device rules um, and some other um, options. Okay, so let's save our changes. And here you can see the shortcut is uh, right here. We will simply need to um, copy it, then go and add a new page or add it to an existing one. I will just add a new page just for you to show it. Let's name it. And let's paste it as a short card. Publish. And let's view our page. I'm very excited. Mm, it's here. Wow, they are really beautiful. And it matches with our website. So let's head to some of this places let's see where it directs us wow perfect it works and then you can see the horizontal the vertical line it disappears when we hit here and, the, and this is the medium size and it's placed uh, left bottom which I've chosen well, that's it about the floating button plugin by Wow Company. And if you've still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye.